Hey, what's up everybody? It's Nate here again uh, from Twitter. It's Nate underscore Lawson. And tonight I want to show you a cool little trick uh, from within Lightroom. And that's how to directly upload to Flickr and Facebook using a cool little plugin. And I'll show you where you can get those. Uh, I also want to show you how to do this to your blog. But we're going to split this into a couple tutorials here so it just doesn't get that long. Um, so I am going to be using a screen flow. I just recently got this and I think it's it's super cool and I, I'm just getting a kick out of playing and playing with it. So uh, before I really screw things up, let's go ahead and get started. And our first item of business is from within Lightroom right here. I've uh, chose a picture here that I'm going to upload to Flickr. This is of our local high school here, and I did a, a rendered an HDR image. Um, so once you get uh, your uploads, your your plugins, <clears throat> you'll notice I'm over here from uh, plugin extras, Facebook extras, Flickr extras, and then GeoEncode, which includes all these location maps. Uh, but in order to get these right here. You need to go to your plugin manager, and then you can come down here. You won't have anything in here. Uh, add, and then you just locate uh, your plugin. Click Add Plugin, and it'll show up right here. And then this is just all the information. Now these uh, Flickr and Facebook and GPS support are from Jeffrey Friedel, and I'll show you where you can get, pick these up. They're free, which is so cool and then they will show up right here once that is complete you would uh, develop the image to your liking and come down here to your image right click go to export and then you'll see I have pixel post and the photoc formula which I've added later and those will be in another tutorial uh, but we just want to head up here to export so I can show you what I'm talking about now you won't see the Flickr or Facebook plugins over here on the on the left hand side. You do see this post processed action down here, but we're not going to worry about that today. Um, where you find those is up on this bar here. You notice these two double triangles right here. You click on that, and ta da, there they are. So we're going to go ahead. Now I'm not going to go through a whole lot of Facebook because I don't open. Uh, I don't. I'm sorry, I don't upload my images to Facebook any longer uh, but you you can from right here you need to authenticate uh, to Facebook so that means you when you click on this it'll take you to Facebook's page and then you uh, log in and then tell it yeah it's okay for these two uh, programs to communicate but Flickr is basically the same way uh, you just have a whole lot more um, options here so you can notice I'm logged in uh, to my Flickr account. Oh, the first time you do this, you will also have to go to Flickr and authenticate your account. That means you just sign into Flickr, and then it'll uh, ask you if it's okay if you want um, this to run. Okay, starting off, uh, we have my the uh, export location. I like to export these to temporary folders. Uh, because they'll be discarded when I'm finished. I don't need to save these images again and again and again. Uh, so once it's uploaded, it's it's going to get rid of it. So that uh, saves space on my hard drive. But you can choose to go into a specific folder or the same folder as the original. File naming. I will show you once it's uploaded to Flickr, but I leave this alone. Uh, you do have the chance to go in and name name your image once it's in Flickr. File settings. You want to make sure that it's a JPEG image and not a TIFF for the original. 70 for the quality seems to work out just fine for me and I like sRGB because I am uploading to the internet. Image sizing. Uh, I'm gonna bump this down to 72. I don't need 300 pixels per inch to look at it on the internet and I leave this alone right here you can resize to fit long edge short edge dimensions width and height I do this for my blogs and I'll show you that in that tutorial sharpened for screen 
and the amount standard. You can do low, higher, standard. Uh, leave it at screen because we're not dealing with paper. Metadata, I leave alone. I don't really worry about any of that there. Uh, the upload destination, okay, now this is where yours might be a little different than mine. I'm not a Flickr Pro user, so I don't have unlimited photo sets, and my quota has already been used. So I have don't add to a photo set selected. However, if this image fit into one of my already existing photo sets, I could just select that photo set, and it would be uploaded to that set. But again, I'm not going to add it to a photo set at all. But I do want this checked so I can uh, visit the photo once it's uploaded. I only have one image selected. Uh, this depends on how many images you're exporting. It will give you the number here. Or you can uh, update previously modified uh, images or export those not yet exported. Which is pretty much the same as this one unless you've already uploaded again see I don't just leave it right there that's fine Flickr metadata management I leave this all alone by default image visibility I do want all people to see it not just friends and family or friends or family or no one else if I just want to look at it I guess the safety level of this image is safe it's not uh, restricted in any way. I think that means if it's you know 18 and under I'm not sure all my images are safe so I don't have to worry about it. Image type it is a photo it's not some sort of screenshot or other art like CGI or illustrations and I do want to include it in the public image search that way other people can find it. Okay now here's those geo encoding permissions bypass all this here's something that's pretty sweet right here if you belong to any Flickr group pools they will be listed right here now I'm a uh, part of quite a few here not as many as a lot of people but I I do some and if this image uh, maybe HDR unlimited uh, because it is an HDR image I wanted to upload this right to this group pool I could have this selected and you can click on this and it'll um, bring up your browser and you'll visit this uh, group pool. Uh, but for the moment, I don't want to add any to any group pools. And then this is the plugin information. Once you have all this the way you want it, hit export. And you'll see it exporting uh, to Flickr up here. Now, this is going to take a little bit because I am running a video program on top of it. So for the time being, I'm going to. Uh, just pause the video for a bit and we'll get back when it's completed so we'll see in a little bit okay it looks like it's done didn't take too terribly long and like I said right here is where you can add the holy smokes what's going on I don't want that playing in the background <laughs> okay I'm sorry about that I hit websites that uh, all of a sudden start playing music it scares the crap out of me Okay, so for the title, uh, we'll just uh, call this, uh, for now I can go in and, and change it, but it'll be, how about, your learning experience. <laughs> Pretty generic. Okay, and then you can add a description, and I already have tags added to that image, uh, which was uploaded along with it. Um, because this image within Lightroom, you'll notice if I go back over here to library and come down here, um, keywords right here, you can notice all these keywords, whoops, <laughs> they are also uploaded, which is pretty sweet. Now you don't have to go in there and manually do it, so then uh, you just click OK. And ta-da! There you have it, folks. That is the image already. Uh, it's got the title, and if you would have added the description, of course, the description's down here. And uh, that's how easy it is to uh, upload images directly to Flickr from within Lightroom.
Now I'm going to show you uh, Jeffrey Friedel's blog here, and I will add uh, the the web address so you can get here. But he's got so many plugins for Lightroom 2, Zenfolio, Smug Mug, Flickr, Picasa, Facebook, Geoencoding, and on down and on down. He also has a few plugins for older versions of Lightroom, Lightroom 1. Okay, so if you're still using Lightroom 1, uh, don't worry about it. He's got a Flickr plugin right there. Okay. And uh, so I'll give you this uh, address right here. And that is it, folks. That's how easy it is to go directly from Lightroom to Flickr without resizing in Photoshop and uploading to every individual social media site. So I hope you learned a little something. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, drop me a comment. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, uh, just comment on there, send me a message. If you don't follow me on Twitter, why not? Just kidding. Uh, if you feel like you, you'd like to, by all means, go ahead. Uh, and if you have any other tutorial suggestions or any questions, I'd love to hear those too. I'm, I'm getting a kick out of doing these uh, tutorials. I like to help people out. So uh, if that's it, then I'll uh, see you in the next video. Bye.